All right. Thank you, Ray. Um, how many people are familiar with uh, Etsy? Yeah, most of you. Okay, good, good. Now, I'm, uh, I'm not from Etsy. I, I work for Wind River. Um, we're an Intel company. And, um, but uh, we didn't have any Etsy representatives over in North America right now to give this presentation. And uh, my group has participated in um, all of the uh, OPNFE plug tests so far and also the, the single Etsy plug test as well. So uh, it just made sense for, uh, um, for someone from my group to come up and give this presentation in lieu of uh, anyone that uh, would be available from Etsy. I was going the wrong direction. So Etsy is the European Telecommunication Standards Institute. Um, they focus um, on telecommunications and specifically what they've added uh, for standards is uh, to start testing um, commercial um, NFV uh, solutions. And we started this this year um, we did this um, uh, outside of Madrid, and, and um, it's a little longer process. Um, so we spend two weeks at one of these plug tests as opposed to one week with uh, uh, OPNFE um, plug fest. And one of the reasons is, is because when you look at the work that's been happening for the interoperability testing at OPNFE, uh, there are projects that um, that the folks have been working on and, and are, the, the PTLs are familiar with each other and so there's a little bit more um, uh, pre-testing that's, that's been done before everyone gets together. Now you can see what's a little different at the Etsy event and this is where we're bringing together uh, commercial vendors. Um, so we have um, the um, infrastructure vendors, you can see them listed there, there's nine of those. Um, so they're you know all the way across, including the, the OPNFE um, um, release. Um, but again, we have uh, multiple um, commercial vendors there too. We have nine manos, so these are the orchestrators. And we have 17 VNFs. The idea here is we all come together, and every single orchestrator is going to command a different infrastructure solution, and with all of the NF, and then with um, the, the, the 17 VNS. So it's quite a large metric um, to be able to go through all of these. Um, and so it's, it's quite well um, scripted as far as who's running or when we're running. Um, uh, but it was quite a big undertaking, especially considering this was just the, the first one where we got together. Now, because of that, we had to set up strict guidelines. So this is what makes, again, a little bit different than the OPNFV side, is we have these guidelines that everyone has to follow. So these guidelines um, are directed not only to the, um, the, the VNF providers, but to the infrastructure uh, providers and to the MANOs as well. And um, as it says here, these are, these are generic. And the reason why we say they're generic is that for instance, um, a, a particular VNF, say a firewall, uh, we can't, we, well, at least so far on the first uh, go around here, we haven't been able to put together you know, a full testing capability for that firewall functionality. Instead, the, um, what the, uh, the scope of the testing um, contains is it says you have an NFVA. We want to make sure that it can be instantiated on um, infrastructure B um, by um, every single one of the participants that brought an orchestration project. So what that means is, of course, you have to be able to load the image. You have to be able to start up the image. The image has to be able to uh, be able to be um, paused, reinitiated, stopped. Um, the networks have to come up uh, um, accordingly for each of those uh, VNFs. So again, we don't get down into the testing of the VNF functionality, not yet. We're working on that for the next one. Um, but, uh, but again, this is they're pretty generic core NFE capabilities. Now, in order to get this done, we had to set up a remote, um, um, uh, remote connections for multiple labs across the globe beforehand. 
So the testing was done in January of this year, but at the end of November, we set up what's called a hive. And this hive allows uh, vendors to test on each other's products. So for instance, us at Wind River, we have a lab that's located in, uh, uh, in Boston, so the Intel facility in Hudson, Massachusetts. And um, everyone that was on this network, so that includes all of our orchestration partners and all of our VNF partners, have direct access from their lab to our lab. And this is really neat because you might have an orchestrator who's located in Germany, a VNF partner who's located in Texas, and our lab, which is located in um, Massachusetts. And it all works seamlessly you know, across the globe, connected into this, um, uh, this hive. And so a lot of the testing, again, was done beforehand, before we even showed up. And one of the things that that saved was, um, was of course, uh, like for instance, uploading large NFVs uh, you know, to multiple um, sites across the world. Because some of these are, are quite large um, and they can take some time. So this was basically a necessity in, to, in order to, um, uh, to have this put together. Interestingly, uh, the Etsy uh, group, they still have this running today for OSM members. So that's the open source MANO project. And for anyone who's an open source MANO vendor, um, or I should say full-time member, um, you can stay connected to the Etsy Hive. And uh, Wind River is one of those. Um, we're connected. It's really nice because we can still today work with any of our orchestration or NFE partners. If they have a question, if, if they have a new release, they can automatically have access to our labs. So it's, uh, it's, it, it's really great, um, like I mentioned. Now, as we said, because the matrix is so large uh, and we only have two weeks to test, um, we ended up having to put together a pretty strict uh, a format for this testing. Um, and every day, uh, there were 10 combinations of MANO, VIM, and VNF uh, that were run. Um, they were scheduled out by the lead at Etsy, so we knew beforehand who we were going to work with the next day. Uh, which, you know, uh, makes it nice uh, because, uh, you know, that evening when we go out to hotels, at least you can meet up with someone because you know you're going to be working with them the next day. Um, and then we have a specific report table as well. Now, all of this is available um, uh, in, a, in a report. So if you want to look to see what, um, what um, uh, VNFs worked with what um, uh, uh, infrastructures on what... Uh, on, on specific manos or orchestrators. Um, I have a link here on the next page um, to, to show you. But inside of these, then there's, there's maybe, there's over 1,500. There's over 1,500 reports that were run. Um, we go through a series of checks. Now, I know you can't read this. It's a little hard to see. Um, but what this says here is uh, the reports, and again, they're available for anyone to download. It'll give the, um, uh, the combination. So for this one right here, um, this is the Ericsson orchestrator running on uh, Wind River Titanium Cloud, and it's with Palo Alto uh, Networks as the, the VNF. And it simply goes through a checklist saying that are you able to onboard it? Yes. Are you able to run it? Are you able to pause it? Are you able to scale it? Scale it up, scale it down, scale it in, scale it out and so forth. So again, they're quite generic uh, NFV functions that, the, that we're recording. Uh, and since this is going to be posted, uh, you should be able to you know, get these slides. If you are uh, um, interested in what the, um, you know, uh, all the specific tests that have been run, uh, you can download that. And then our second, that's a typo, it should be NFV um, instead of VNF, the second one. But, but uh, the second one's going to be held um, next January, and this one's going to be at the Etsy headquarters. And uh, as Ray mentioned, the, the third one was going to be combined with the uh, OPNFV uh, next summer, which will be really nice to be able to pull um, all of the projects of OPNFV testing together with all of the commercial vendors that, it, that uh, attend the Etsy um, e event. So it's going to be um, I think a, a great opportunity for people who are involved in uh, uh, VNF uh, interoperability testing. All right, now I just have 
a couple slides to finish. Um, these won't take very long. Two minutes. Two minutes. That's all it's going to take. It's going to take two minutes. Um, and this is on ONAP. Uh, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with ONAP. Maybe you could raise your hand. So this is, okay, a few. This is a new project, a fairly new project in the community. It is sponsored by the Linux Foundation. Um, it stands for Open Network Automation Platform. So this is, um, you can almost think that you know as an, an orchestrator on steroids. Um, it's a combination of a couple of existing projects. Um, there are a number of large sponsors, uh, including uh, AT&T, China Mobile, um, Orange, um, of course Huawei, um, and, and quite a few other ones. But it's a big community project to um, have an autom automated orchestration platform uh, available uh, for network deployment. And the reason why I bring this up here uh, under the discussion of interoperability is that we have an open lab subcommittee. Um, you can see the people who are a member of it. But we are responsible for being able to facilitate the interoperability testing for the ONAP development. And this is going to be done on labs connected um, throughout the globe. Uh, two of those up here, uh, uh, one of them is at Intel Hudson and another one over here is at Intel uh, Hillsboro, so up in Portland. These are the initial labs that are being kicked off, but we're going to have connections all the way across the globe. And what is really neat about this is that these labs are going to be running different um, infrastructure software. Some will be Wind River, some will be um, uh, OPNFV um, Direct. Um, but they could be anything, um, including VMware. They don't have to even to be um, you know, a, a standard release of OpenStack. And we'll have all of these connected. And then from one site, you'll be able to deploy to another site without even knowing what the underlying um, infrastructure software is. So this is going to be a huge real life test bed for NFV interoperability. We're really excited about this. Uh, we've already started the development and all these labs are in the process of coming up. Okay, I am done. Thank you so much. <laughs>